guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today is my Fair Skin Fiesta series final video. Today I'm doing my contouring and highlighting video for you, which is specialised for pale skin. I did do this a wee while ago, but I've changed things a little bit. I've got a couple of extra products that I didn't use last time, plus a couple of new tools. This is a really awesome brush you guys need to get. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, so slightly different, but kind of the same concept. It's just a bit better quality and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you at the end. Bye! So first of all I'm going to lay down my base. Today I'm going to be using Elamasca Skin Base in 02 because I haven't used this in a tutorial like on camera yet so I thought I would just show you what it's like. And to blend that in I'm going to use my EXO Beauty Angled Top Kabuki which is really nice for buffing this foundation in because it really like works it into the skin well. So I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand, like that. So now that I've applied my foundation, you can see I look very one-dimensional, very flat. Um, so now I'm going to add some contouring just to carve out my face shape. So I have two cream contouring products I like to use to contour with. Um, one is more cool toned and one is more warm toned. And sometimes I mix them to get a more sort of softer effect, but it kind of just depends how I'm feeling. Um, one of them is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe, and this is extremely cool toned. And the other one I have is my Cream Pigment by Elamasca in the color Hollow, which is a wee bit more warmer. So you can kind of mix the two to get a shade that matches you. And to do this today, I'm going to use my EXO Beauty Tapered Top Kabuki, which is a little bit stained from these products. Um, so first I'm going to do my cheekbones and then I will do like the rest of my face. adding a little bit of contouring to my temples. This just sort of slims the face around the temple area and actually brings your cheekbones up because if you make this area recede, these areas recede, this part is going to pop out. Very cool. <laughs> To contour my nose, I'm just going to use this like flat top um, sort of concealed brush. And doing this basically just makes your nose appear a lot slimmer. I'm just drawing that nose contour out into the crease of my eye. Just to emphasize that a little bit. I'm just going to highlight some areas of my face using a white foundation. I'm just adding a little bit of this on top. Um, just to brighten a wee bit more. Um, because I've already put down a very light base, it's I don't need to use too much or I don't need to use anything that's too thick. And I find a foundation works a little bit better than like a white concealer which just looks really, really harsh. If you prefer a really striking contour um, and highlight, then I would go for a white concealer. Ella Masca makes a really nice one. But for this I'm using my Phoenix white foundation. I'm pretty sure this is their, it's their custom blend range. I can't remember if it's matte or dewy. I have a feeling it might be matte. And to apply this I'm just going to use a, another sort of like flat top kabuki. This one's an EXO um, beauty one. So I'm just going to pour a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I can dip my brush in it and just apply it where I want it. isn't really blending it in, it's just basically placing it where I want it. Um, 
I can blend it in in a second so it's more about just like a real accurate precision which you just won't get with a bigger brush <laughs> a little bit on my chin because what that does is recedes the area just under the lip line which makes your lips look bigger do you see where that like chin creases just put the white right up to the chin crease trick as well make sure that when you're contouring your nose you don't put too much dark along here like just enough and then I brought the highlight right up because that does make your nose appear a lot slimmer than having like big dark patches on the side of your nose <laughs> so just make sure this line is quite slim so I'm just gonna go back in with my kabuki and kind of just pat over that Ooh. to kind of blend all the creams together a bit more. I'm only patting though, I'm not rubbing because otherwise you'll just smear it all together. Now to set that all, I'm going to go in with a bit of mineral makeup and this will set it without looking too powdery because the minerals, it doesn't have any talc or anything in it so it's not very mattifying, it just kind of sets your makeup and will leave a wee bit more of a natural finish. So the one I'm using is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Fair. And I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush to apply that with. Now, if you want to enhance your contouring even more, this is giving you kind of a basic amount you can go in with a powdered product and you all know my favorite one is NYX taupe blush my lids broken off still haven't got a new one guys but there's still heaps left in the pan so I'm trying to get through it this is a very inexpensive product as well which is awesome and I found a new brush that I love applying this with and if you want to get into powdered contouring um, which is probably a little bit more fail safe than the whole cream thing you must buy this brush it is amazing for it it is the EXO Beauty small tapered brush it's like the perfect size for your cheekbone. It's amazing. So I just swirl my brush on this, tap off the excess, and then just apply it where I want it. precision with the small areas of your face just use like a fluffy crease brush it's an eyeshadow brush this one that I'm using is by Sedona Lace my face with a little bit of bronzer this again an optional step if you prefer to have more of a striking kind of um, contour and highlight but because we're so pale it can look pretty stark and I feel like warming up my face a wee bit just helps to kind of blend the whole contouring thing in um, the one I'm using today is Aphrodite shell which is an extra, uh, extra dimension bronzer by MAC 
This is from the Alluring Aquatic Collection and I'm using a Real Techniques Multitask Brush. And I'm basically just warming up the perimeter of my face. And lastly, I'm just going to add some highlighter. I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. And I'm using my Hakuto Tapered Top Highlighting Brush. You could also use your small tapered face brush, which you use for contouring. You just need to give it a wee wash because it'll be covered in dark powder. So just swirl a little bit on my brush. And then I just put it, just use it subtly on the very tops of your cheekbones just to kind of make them sheen and pop. And I like to run a wee bit up onto the brow bone, just. If you're oily, don't put it here on the apples of your cheeks, but if you're not oily, it can actually look really beautiful, almost like you've got a natural kind of youthful sheen to your face, but only do this if you've got a very subtle highlighter, not like Mary Luminizer, it's too much all over the face. <laughs> Run some down the nose. my routine I'm just gonna pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with you cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is the finished kind of look with a bit more makeup on and I'll just give you some like side views so you can kind of see my chiseled cheeks and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoy my videos or if you're really pale like me it's a really good idea because I do kind of do specialist videos for more pale skin. So don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's all at Anna Elaine so it's really easy to find me. Um, or you can leave me a comment below if you want to chat to me here. So I always try and reply to comments and I love hearing what you guys think. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys all in my next video next week. Have a good day. See ya.